Now, a lot of the literature of this sort of new, new thinking about trade balances argues the proposition that U.S. trade deficits reflect the role of the dollar as a reserve currency, that we are running trade surpluses because we're, sorry, trade deficits because we're basically forced to because foreigners want dollars as reserve assets. And it's a funny thing. That's a, that's a kind of a 1950s, 1960s view of the world. That is the way things used to work. I've even seen people start to reference the Triffin problem because Robert Triffin famously worried about that in, in the 60s. It's not a very good description of most of the modern world anymore. Now we have lots of you know, private capital flows, capital flows generated by the demand for the dollar as a reserve asset are certainly part of the story, but not most of the story. Capital is flowing to the United States because the U.S. has done so well technologically. We, we had nearly a nearly balanced trade account in circa 1990, which then became a big deficit by the end of the 1990s. That is really associated with rapid productivity growth in the United States. That was the era in which the United States kind of had figured out what to do with IT and the rest of the world had not. 